is up, guys? HTG Brian back with some more LEGO 2K Drive. This time we've got all weed locations for Big Butte County. That's right, there are actually 20 of them scattered throughout. Some are actually quite small and easy to take down. Some are actually doubled down where there's more than one patch that actually only counts as one. But we're going to show you where all 20 locations are and we're going to ring them off together. Now, if you've been following along, you probably remember we just got done with the old Turbo Acres solo weed venture here. We're sitting here with the blue crystals, and they'll be in there with a quick reminder. We have quick links down below in the video description. So if you're wanting to jump ahead, or maybe you missed one, and you just want to kind of relocate and see, or you just don't want to watch the entire video, you want to bounce from one to the next, feel free to do that. But we're going to go ahead and use the old teleport, or fast travel, to the northwest corner of Big Butte County, where we're going to take on the first of 20 weed patches. Now, something I struggled with, and would certainly love some feedback from you guys as we target the first location we're going to take on here, is the labeling. You can see right in the middle, we've got number one weed with the weed icon next to it. Now, we're happy with the weed icon. What we're not happy with is the confusion of it just doesn't feel right. It seems like I should have put weed number one, but I got number one weed. And then number two weed, number three weed. You guys tell me, what seems more appropriate? I mean, I'm not necessarily looking for the best grammar or proper grammar, but like, what seems best to you? I feel like I'm gonna switch it and it'll probably be weed number one in the next video, we'll see. All right, we've officially arrived at our location right here. It's uh, just in the corner of the old, ooh, I guess it's kind of like the dirt trail, the white dirt trail. It's kind of weird because Show me some white dirt, huh? It's like uh, in Tommy Boy, I found white mud, I'm gonna be rich. <laughs> All right, you might have noticed I went ahead and did a little cut there so we didn't have to watch me mow the entire patch. I've done that with all of them just to kind of speed up the video. It was over 35 minutes long, and uh, by taking that little section out, just sort of fading from the beginning to the end, it actually sped it up quite a bit and cut the video in half. So, hey, right over the hill here, we've got patch number two, which each time I'm going to go ahead and show you on the map where I'm going, and then I'll show you once I get there as well. We've gone ahead and taken down all of the weeds in this particular patch, giving us the second one, Dun Dun Did. All right, so on to the next. Now, we're kind of going in a uh, counterclockwise motion here from the top left corner, and we're just going to zig and zag all the way across. Now, I did make a mistake. I jumped over one of my points on accident. Uh, we'll get to that. It does not affect us in any way. In fact, it worked out quite nicely because there is a fast travel point right just north of where it was, so it worked out perfect. We were way off on the side, and it's actually the final one, so you'll get to see how it all goes now. All right, we've made it to our next marker, and there wasn't a weed on the exact location, so I'm going to go ahead and remove the marker and show you right where I am. And there they are, the big patch of weeds. Now, uh, one thing I didn't cover at the beginning of this video, because we kind of uh, covered it in the last couple, was the Choppa, the Weed Choppa 5000, and how to unlock it and how to equip it. It's important that your off-road vehicle is the Weed Chopper, otherwise you're just going to be slowed down by a bunch of weeds driving through them. So... Uh, make sure you do that. Go ahead and check out our How to Unlock the Lawn Mower or the Weed Location for Turbo Acres, which covers that as well. I figured that two videos was enough. We didn't need to do it on every single one. All right, you might notice, too, I've got some pretty aggressive tactics jumping and flying around. I highly recommend using the jump and boost in the air as you gain a lot of momentum, especially uh, bouncing around in some of this rougher terrain. It will slow you down. Now, which way do I go? Which way do I go? All right, we finally found the last piece here, and it is a doozy, but we got it. Four of 20 done, dude. Now, keep in mind, you also get monies and XP for doing all this, and I do believe we level up here maybe after the next one. So we got one uh, targeted way down here. There is a fast travel point, but I do want to remind you guys that all of you guys that have talked about the trophy achievements for the distance, right? We've got like a 3K and a 6K miles traveled. I bet you you guys are using the fast travel a lot. I'm trying not to as much as possible because I want to gain as much ground, but in the end, I'll probably just use the old rubber band trick, which uh, we can cover in another video. But here we are. We've officially arrived at weed number five. We'll go ahead and start chopping down. You can see there's actually a whole patch across the street, too, which turns out to be another location, not the same one. So look at that. Five of 20. Dun, 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 dun. We're jumping for joy, and we're going to go ahead and pull up our map. 
and drive right across the street because that's where the next location is. Now, speaking of locations, I do want to take just a quick hot second here to go ahead and give a shout out to my guide writer, Tyler P., who has done it for us yet again. He has documented all of the locations of the collectibles and much, much more, and uh, I couldn't have done it without him. So big, big time shout out to the Tyler P. All right, this next one is, uh, so I, I target this next one and I drive up the road here and for some reason my brain checks it off that it's the next one more north. That's right, there is another one just a little bit higher north from this one that we're about to roll up on and I accidentally skip over it because uh, for whatever reason I thought we were doing it right now and that ends up being the final one that we come back for. So uh, you'll see it, you'll see it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and drive all the way up to the top and back down. We did a little cut there to edit out that long, lengthy process of taking down the seventh patch. But uh, we got it done, did? Let me know what you guys think, too. Would you guys prefer a longer video with all of the weed locations? So, yeah, here's another one right across the street. This is not the one I was talking about. There's one a little bit further north. I think it's right up in that loop up above us. But we'll go ahead and take this out, and it's a duh, duh, done did. Now, this next one, I'm about to do a pretty crazy pathway to the next location. I, th I think it's this one. Uh, there's two that are. I probably should have done them a little bit differently. Uh, no, it isn't this one. It's coming up, though. It's coming up. This one was all the way up and around. That's right. This one took me a minute to find. And thank goodness I'm a good editor because I had to go drive around for a couple of minutes to find this one. Uh, just because the pathway is up top and the one obvious way to get here is across the giant jump, which I do believe requires one of the jetpacks. But we're going to do that and likely what will be the next video after this one. So we've officially arrived at number nine. We're going to go ahead and show you real quick where it is. And there's a couple of ways to get up there. We took the easiest path, at least we think, the one with the least collectibles and least resistance. Now, keep in mind, although we get a little crazy heading off to this next one over here, there are multiple ways you can actually get to some of these. And uh, we try to go with the least resistance and the least collectibles, as we've mentioned, but it doesn't always work out that way. Uh, sometimes there may be a fast travel point or something that may actually have been the better route to get there. But again, we're trying to work on our overall mileage because if we use those fast travel points all the time, we're really not accumulating any miles on the vehicles, which is going to be pretty key. And um, I know I've mentioned the rubber banding method before, but hey, OK, so here's one of the first kind of questionable jumps I make. I felt like that was pretty easy and smooth, though, so I let it ride. And we've arrived at number 10. And this is a double whammy. There's actually two big patches here. As you can see, I just completed the upper region there, but it didn't give me the total for saying that I got it done did. So I went ahead and took out the bottom one too. And look at that, it counts for number 10. So woo to the hoo, we're halfway and so are you. All right, so this is where I messed up. Right between here and where we're going, there is another one and I skipped right over it like a noob. But again, we'll get that at the end. It's no big deal. And I went against my own advice and actually used a fast travel point just because I know some of you are gonna be using this too. All right, here we are right outside of the city limits here. We've got our big patch of weeds, number 11. We'll go ahead and pull out the chopper. Get to the chopper. Pull it all down, and booyaka shaw. We are done dead with yet another one. All right, we got another questionable uh, route coming up here. I don't remember if it's the next one, but I sort of take a wall jump. No, it's not this one. We got, we got one after. I think it's the one right after this. It's right behind us up on the hillside. And I probably should have drove down and around, but I use the boost and jump, and it climbs me right up there. And I land right where I need to be, so I let it ride. All right, so here we are. We've officially made it to the top loop of the middle of the map here. And I say top loop, meaning the paved road loop in the middle city areas. And look at that. We've got ahead, gone ahead and mowed them on down. 12 of 20. Done, dude. Jumping for joy. We'll go ahead and pull up the map and show you where the next location is, even though it's just literally right across the street. And pull out the chopper. We got it. All right, number 13 is officially done. So you can see there's kind of a ramp on the mountainside wall there on my right. And I take advantage of that by boosting 
and then riding up the wall. And once I get sort of towards the peak, I actually hit the jump button and continue boosting, which sort of acts like an aircraft at that point. So uh, there are other ways to get there. In fact, you could just go off to the left side of the mountain there and follow the road up here. That's another way. So if you're having troubles with that jump, just follow the road around. You can see on the map, you follow the pavement all the way over to the white off-road, and it brings you right up to the tippy top where we are and doing the chippy chop. That's right. All right, 14 done. There's a rainbow brick up there. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. We'll be checking those out in a future video as well. All right, next up, we're going to go ahead and target number 15, which is up in the middle of the figure eight in the middle north section of the map. And here comes another squirrely jump, I do believe. This one, I'm going to use the ramp on the wall here to go straight up. I mean, look, that just looks like a jump. And again, uh, there are plenty of ways to get up here. Uh, you could actually come from the northwest, northeast. Uh, you just got to get to that figure eight on the map. Um, in fact, there is a garage up here, too. I believe. Oh, no, it's a race. I'm sorry. I thought that was a garage. My bad. It's on the back side of this race right here, though. And right inside the fence line are tons of weeds. Now, if you have not completed this race here in Big Butte County, which we sort of recommend playing through as much of the story as possible before really focusing on the collectibles, just because you get better vehicles that have, uh, you know, better jump, better speed, better things, a little, little bit more diversity. But ultimately, you can choose to do it how you want. But those weeds are gone, so they will no longer slow you down in that race. Then it will actually help build some health and boost for your vehicle. So whoop to the hoop. There's some monies up there. I like money. I think you do, too. We all like money, I'm pretty sure. All right, just making my way over to the next checkpoint here, which uh, we've got on the map. It's way over, kind of southeast of where we just was. Not really that far south, but definitely east. And once we get there, of course, we'll pop open that map one more time and show you where we is. Oh, look at that. I came ripping through. <laughs> I think I took out a middle patch there. All right, we'll go ahead and pop that map over. There we go. So basically just southwest of the top right fast travel point there. And after we chopped them all down, woo to the hoo. I'm going to celebrate number 16 and only four more to do. I do believe there's one right across the river here, a little bit closer to that fast travel point. In fact, one could fast travel there, but again, you're going to lose out on a couple of miles anyways, or maybe a mile. And look at that, right in between where we was and the fast travel point is the next patch, number 17. Now, the next two are actually almost side by side each other, and I got to be honest, when I got them both done, I had planned on those being the last ones, and I realized right about now, I'm like, wait a minute, there's only two left. But technically, there was three because I overshot that other one. But these two are side by side right at the bottom of the old dirt road on the far east side, right in the middle. So pretty easy to locate. And uh, unfortunately, there isn't a fast travel point to get there. But you could always use the one up in that top right corner that we just came from and get ripping south. There we go. There is the patch right in front of us. And there's another one to our right. These actually count as two. So that's going to be 18 and 19. Right now, I'm literally like, oh, crap, what have I done? And I was really worried about trying to figure out and find where the last one was. But then I kind of just went over everything and went, wait a minute, did I ever get that one? And the first one I went to was the one. So it worked out perfect. So even I make mistakes sometimes. But uh, usually, I find a way to clean it up and make it work. And it worked out perfectly. So All right, right across the street from 18 is 19. We'll go ahead and rip through those, and we'll pull up the map, and we'll show you where that lost one in the middle of town was. So uh, it's actually going to be, oh, look at that, just to the left of the loop I thought it was. We're going to warp to that fast travel point right in the center of the map. Pull the old e-brake, whip it around, and right along the edge of the main road here is going to be our patch of weeds. Look at that. We'll go ahead and pull out the choppa one last time for old Big Butte County. Now, keep in mind, there are weeds on all four of the maps, and uh, we'll go ahead and take those on appropriately. We're going to go ahead and whip out all of the rest of the collectibles for Big Butte County before moving on to Prospecto Valley. So uh, be looking at, like, jetpacks, 
experimental batteries, golden trophies, silver sprockets, things like that coming next. So, hey guys, if you have not already, please check out happythumbsgaming.com. We also got social media presence out there too. We'd love to see you over on our Patreon, maybe even give you a shout out depending on which tier you choose. As for me though, that's going to do it for now. As always, until next time. 